Honourable Member for Saskatoon West. Mr. Speaker, the Minister in charge of the Phoenix fiasco has not denied that the cost of reparation could surpass $1 billion. The number of affected public servants continues to grow, and there's no clear timeline to fix it. In fact, the Professional Institute of the Public Service of Canada has said that Phoenix is not fixable. For two years, Liberals have not listened to warnings from public servants and their unions. It's time for Plan B. Will the Minister commit today to working with our public servants so that they can be paid properly? The Honourable Minister of Public Services and Procurement. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Harper Conservatives botched this program from the beginning. While the previous government spent $309 million on the systems, book savings of $70 million per year, and let go hundreds of employees in order to falsely balance their budget. Order. 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 Allah. Most members in all parties can sit through a question period and hear things they disagree with and dislike without having to react. And all members should be able to do this because, after all, we're all adults here. The Honourable Minister has the floor. What's the matter? Mr. Speaker, our government has been on this since day one. We are focusing on our partnerships. We are focusing on improving our governments. We have invested $192 million to clean up that mess and hired 380 employees to ensure public service are paid the money they're owed. The member for Edmonton West and others did not hear me, and I asked them not to react when someone else has the floor. They have, I know they have great voices and lots to say, but I prefer to hear them. We all want to hear them when it's their turn. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we didn't create this mess, but we're going to fix it. Yeah. Bravo.